to Art Play. I'm Rowan Sivia, aka Little Rowan Redhead, and on this channel I experiment and play with new mediums, materials and techniques and then share with all of you. If you dig what I do, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Today I will be discussing Decolorant. This is a product by Jacquard. It used to be called Discharge Paste and I for one am glad they changed it. Decolorant removes the colour from dyed fabrics, but unlike bleach, decolorant does not damage the fab fabric fibres. It can be applied with a brush, through a screen, through a stencil, or with a stamp, which is why I was attracted to this product. I've had a little play with decolorant. Come and see how I went. So the first thing I noticed when I took the lid off the decolorant is that discolorant is very gloopy. It has got a very viscous and smooth texture. The second very obvious thing I noticed about decolorant is that it stinks. It's got quite a strong sulfuric smell and it's not very pleasant. And this might be enough to put some people off working with it altogether. While it didn't put me off working with it, I did make sure that I was working in a well ventilated space. Getting back to the texture, decolorant is not tacky at all, which immediately made me wonder how I was going to be able to apply it to a stamp. I tried rolling decolorant out with a rubber brayer and I pretty much knew straight away that I would have to find another method because unlike normal relief printing ink, that lack of tack means that you can't, there's nothing to be able to stick the decolorant onto the brayer and vice versa, nothing to really allow that brayer to stick it onto the stamp. So for method two, I remembered that I had some old makeup foam applicators and this method worked okay as you can see I dabbed the foam applicator into the decolorant and then pounced it on top you will notice that there is no pigment in the decolorant so when you stamp it onto the fabric apart from seeing that there's a bit of moisture on the fabric it's quite hard to know where you've popped your design Once you've printed your fabric, now it's time to use our iron to activate the decolorant. And this is the most exciting and most satisfying part of the entire process. Seriously, this stuff is like invisible ink. One moment there's no design and then the next moment, voila, it appears. It is very satisfying. It's not really until this stage that you can see how well you've applied the decolorant on your stamps and also how well you've placed your stamps. I noted that there were a few smudges from where I've accidentally placed my fingertips on the material and they actually did show up. I also noticed that by applying the decolorant with the applicators, it did lead to a rather patchy result on the stamps. Uh, which you might really enjoy. Uh, I wasn't sure whether I liked it as much. I also noticed that depending how much decolorant you used will depend on how much color is taken out of the fabric. Because I wasn't very content with how the flowers turned out having used the uh, foam applicator to apply the decolorant to the fabric, I decided to try a different method. 
This time I used a foam roller. I often use a foam roller when I'm printing with screen printing ink, which is also uh, viscous and quite smooth compared to relief printing ink. So I thought that might work well. You have to use a bit more decolorant this in using this method because the foam needs to kind of soak up the decolorant but it rolls on quite nice and evenly onto the stamps So it turns out that the biggest challenge when working with decolorant is not trying to work out which method to use to apply the decolorant to the stamp, but rather trying to remember where you have placed your previous stamp as you are printing. As I said earlier, working with decolorant is like working with invisible ink. It's really difficult to see where you've printed as you work. On the container, Jacquard says that as long as you have not activated the decolorant, you can wash it out of the fabric if you make a mistake. But what if you can't see the mistake? It's really difficult, especially if the decolorant is drying. It's, it's near impossible to know where you actually put the last motif. It's quite interesting to notice that even though in this video the skulls are visible, when I was printing the fabric, I could barely see them. They were very, very faint, far fainter than the way that they appeared in the video. My main takeaways from working with Decolorant or playing with this product is that one, applying with a foam roller is best. Two, use simpler stamps because decolorant will get into all those little grooves of a really complicated stamp and you'll lose that detail. So simpler stamps work best. And three, the magic of decolorant, that fun of the reveal, is what will keep you coming back to decolorant. And it won't be the last time that I will have a play with this fun product. And I really hope that you will give it a go as well. If you do, don't hesitate to let me know and I'd love to see what you do with it.